Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this Unreal Engine tutorial video for beginners. This video is going to show you how you can easily create the levitation movement, a form of flying inside of your Unreal Engine level through a simple selection of player character blueprint changes and just a few notes that will allow you to simulate the process of levitation. So let's say you're creating a game and you want your character to have the ability to levitate so not to fly only to levitate like it for example in the game control when your character gets the ability to levitate and simply stay on the same plane which is above the current level so it can be slightly above it can be above quite substantially like in control but in any case you're staying on the same plane unlike for example flying which will allow you to move through all three directions all three dimensions in this case you have two dimensions but you're not obstructed with the ground instead you can simply go over it so in this case i created a level that i used in my previous videos for tutorial purposes that you can check out on my channel where we have the simple and regular first person setup and now I'm going to add an element to the player character blueprint which will allow for the levitation on a simple push of a button. To do that I'm going to go to the first person blueprint in my starter content and of course choose blueprints and here I'm going to choose or double click on my first person character blueprint. And here we are, this is the first person character blueprint and this is the event graph that we're going to edit. Actually the event graph where we're going to add that ability to levitate. So I'm going to zoom in a bit and add the first node which will be the actual keyboard key that starts the levitation sequence. To do that I'm going to add keyboard L, L like levitate, get it? The next step is going to be to add the movement node, which is going to be set movement mode. And here it is, which is already connected to character movement and already has a target, which is inside of this set movement mode. Now, new movement modes are actually the thing that we're going to use here. And you have several, which is walking, and mesh walking, falling, swimming, flying, and we're going to use flying. But in this option, flying is going to be only in two dimensions. It's not going to allow you to move through the Z dimension up and down. So it's going to be only to side to sides and front and back. Now I also need to copy the same node because I want to have the ability to shut down this flying moment mode and get it back to walking and I need to connect it to the target once more because character movement remains the objective and all I need here is for the L press key to get the flip-flop node because I want to have the ability to turn it off and turn it on and this way use both the walking and levitation abilities. So I'm going to uh, search for flip-flop here it is and from there I'm going to use on pressed to connect it first to flying and then to walking. So on each press of the L button these two are going to interchange while both are connected to the character movement. So I'm going to compile and save and let's get back into the game. Here it is, here's the level and let's try it out first without levitation and then with levitation. So let's say that I want to pass to this platform right here. My jump isn't enough. So even if I try, I soon begin to dive, dive, dive. And I'm back in the blue clouds. And we want to avoid that. So let's see what the L function does. I'm pressing it and here it is. I'm levitating and there is also a bit of lag to each of the directions. I'm on the platform. I'm pressing L again and I'm back on the platform walking 
if I would like to go back without the use of levitation, I'm falling once again. So there it is, once more, here is the same setup in the character blueprint. It's really simple, it's really easy, it's really limited because you don't have that Z option of flying up or down in that dimension, but still, for levitation purposes, it's a quick and easy and really cool solution. So hopefully you found it useful, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did please consider subscribing and checking out my future Unreal tutorial clips. Also don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, you don't need to leave a dislike, that's also an option. And of course check out all of the ways that you can support this channel and my efforts in making Unreal tutorial videos through either PayPal donations, checking out my book on Amazon which is about overcoming procrastination and wasting time. And of course, check out my other videos. That's all from me. My name is Ivica. Thank you so much for checking out this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video. And have loads of fun in your Unreal projects. Bye-bye.